Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so today we are drawing a sphere with charcoal. So this is what the end result will look like, and I have my trusty buddy working along with me to make sure that we can do this. So the first thing you needed to make sure you have everything that you need for class, for the shading of the sphere, you need a piece of charcoal. You got a little piece. You can break it into a smaller piece if you want, like so. You need charcoal, you need one of these gummy erasers, and you can share with somebody next to you. There we go, that's a struggle. <laughs> and then you also need a scrap piece of paper and a tissue. So the first thing you need to do is take your charcoal on your scrap piece of paper. Can, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, and you rub it all oh over the scrap piece. So you rub it all over the scrap piece, and then you're gonna take your tissue, and you rub it on there, just to pick up some of that charcoal pigment, and you're gonna just rub it all over your piece of paper, just to get a little base layer down. You can even, since it's just the base layer, you can kinda go like this all over the paper. But please do me a favor and do not blow the charcoal dust around the table because it will make a big mess and there will be charcoal on everything you touch. So you're going to get a base layer so that it looks something like this. The next thing you do is you take the charcoal and you're going to draw the basic, basic shape. So you're going to draw a little sphere, a little circle, just like we did with the ones in colored pencil, and give it a table line, and then decide what direction your light's coming from. So I decided mine's gonna come from that way. Okay. So the first thing you do, just like in drawing with colored pencil and regular pencil, you're gonna start by adding some of your values. So my light's coming from the one way, I'm gonna use the side of the charcoal, and just start laying down some of that value. I'm using the side of it right now, not the tip. And I'm just gonna bring it all the way up. And then I'm gonna use the tissue. You can use your finger, but your fingers have a lot of oil on them. So wrap the tissue around your finger and start at the lighter area and just start kind of blending it out. You don't wanna to rub too hard. You're just starting to blend it out into itself so that we're gonna get some medium tones. Don't worry, your edges are gonna be kind of messy. They're gonna be a little smeared and that's okay. So once you have yours like this, you're just gonna play around with some layering. So I'm gonna go back in now and I'm gonna work on making my shadow, placing my shadow where it goes. And if you remember from our other ones, we do like a cylindrical dark shadow. So yours should look something like this. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go in and add some more value. And I'm gonna go right to the edge, but I'm not going all the way to the bottom because I'm gonna save an area for a little bit of reflected light so you can tell the difference between this and my, the sphere and the shadow. So I'm adding more values. It goes on very dark, but if you notice when you go to blend it, it really lightens up. So take your tissue again and start blending it down, barely touching it, very, very lightly. Because you'll notice everywhere you touch, it's gonna really lighten up. So it's a process of layering, so I'm going to go back in and darken it up this time. I'm going to try to leave as much of that darkness as possible. Notice I'm not going all the way up into the light area, but I am going up into it a little bit because that's where your kneaded eraser is going to come in. So 
So notice at no point have I blown the chalk dust off or the charcoal dust off. Taking my tissue and I'm rubbing a little bit more away. If you absolutely need to get some off of the paper, you can tap it onto your scrap like this. And it's starting to build up the layers. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to shade the background so that your sphere contrasts and looks more dimensional from the background. So the one side where my light's coming from, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter, I mean darker, and then blend it into a lighter side. A lot less over here. And I don't have to fill that in because when I go and use my tissue to spread it out, it will blend over there for me because it picks up a lot of pigment. So this side's gonna be much lighter to show the contrast, and this side will be darker. Just play around with building up the layers and getting the right values. So I'm gonna go back around this again with my dark. I'm gonna tap it on my scrap paper right now instead of blowing the dust everywhere. I'm gonna blend this over into that a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next.